We'll an to bomb kill you at a station armistice zone. And what if you're in the Klesher escape route? How about the doorway to a bunker? We're gonna test all these and more, and let's get right into it. It's a common question whether A2 bombs will clear out a bunker. Let's put this myth to bed. For this first test, I'm standing on the elevator and Orc Lover is back in the bunker. It's a direct hit. on to that. Looked like it was a direct hit. The last two were hit. Much yep, we're both here. Yeah, I'm still alive. Yep. Next up, we're testing the bunker entrance and the elevator. <laughs> it's both. <laughs> so where's the goddamn bomb going? Like, what the hell happens? Smack! Oh, oh, there we go. Oh, there it goes off. Oh, that was dead on. Uh, yeah, everything just went bright. There's smoke everywhere, and we are still That was alive. beautiful. That was but, dead um, on, dead on. And we are running one more trap. This time I'm standing right on the edge of the doorway. Yup. Nice. I think that one actually hit the bunker. I don't know. I don't know how close that was from your perspective, but from mine, that looked like it hit literally on the bunker. The next test is at Ghost Hollow on Microtech. There are lots of rumors about some time surviving in Ghost Hollow too. We're putting someone in each half for the wreck and somebody in the turret to test out all of the spots. On top of the middle of the three, then. Well, Iris of Ash is on this one. Do you want to in between the two part of the caucus? Work is on the turret, right? Or is it Vash that's on the turret? Like I'm into the turret, Vash better. is on the other terminal. Okay, then Min's on the other terminal. Here we go. Yep, and Cap. Oh, yeah, I'm dead. Work that we're dead. So everybody dies. Well, this meth is put to bed too. I think the rumors of surviving bombs that goes to hollow come from people hearing bombs that actually missed. Next up, we're testing Klesher Rehabilitation Facility. For this test, Smechnificent is in the escape route and very close to the exit. I think falling towards the ground, I think that's your bomb. I think it's still dropping. It hasn't hit. It's about to hit now. It's off. One on the hit. Beautiful. Oh, no, that was a direct hit. Didn't do shit. Like, absolutely perfect. Survive that uh, smack? Yeah. Next, we're testing in an armistice zone at the now decommissioned Port Olisar. There's a lot of confusion about how armistice zones work. The armistice zones around stations are soft armistice, and in those, you can still be damaged to even inside of hangars. All right, your landing gear's up right now. Hello, and you recording. just squished Min Min. You okay there, girl? Yeah, I'm still alive. Okay. Okay. <laughs> She's good. Drop the bomb. We all gonna die. Oh, I died. Well, it looks like soft armistice does not protect you from bombs. Up next, we're testing a cave on Microtech. We're gonna head to the deepest point of this cave first to see if that works. Yeah, there's a couple big chambers like this. Yeah, no, look, look at this, look at this, uh, like section here though. I don't know how far you guys are planning to pull in. Uh, if we're gonna do this, better set probably drop it by this point. We're reasonably deep. I'm at the bottom. All right, bombs away. Uh, we uh, we are 450 from the uh, A2. Oh wow. Oh, should we find them? You're about to know. Yep, still alive. Yep, we're all good. Next up, we're testing at the cave entrance. It's a little bit off by the look of it. Oh, no, not even. Yeah, you're off. Yeah. Hit the trees. I died. Still While I us. killed me. It was distance based. So there's no barrier. Everybody's dead. Yep. Okay, that explains that. Hey, right, testing that one. What's the next place? Next up, we're testing a different kind of cave on Daimler. See if these caves are any different. We're heading down to the deepest point in Kurdu or This cave isn't anywhere near us because the Microtech ones, so we're only about 100 meters from the exit. Bombs away. Impact. It's right on the mark. 
Beautiful. And I'm dead. So it looks like it's just in space in all of the old uh, caves. But there's new caves. How do those work? Now to try the new sand caves. Sand caves are a new and totally different type of cave that was added recently. Because they were added so much later, there's a good chance that they were designed differently. And we were in for a surprise. I've never even been on a sand cave yet. Me neither. Three hundred meters. Impact. That was beautiful. I'm still alive. Yeah. Really? Yeah, it looks like these gates are different. Can you fly to the impact point? Like the center of it, just to check the distance. Mm, yeah, you're like 130. That would have killed me for sure. Now we're trying right at the entrance of the cave. 500. Impact in 3, 2, 1. Yeah, I'm still alive. Alright, so it looks like you are totally safe from bombs when you're inside of sand caves. Next up, we're testing an armistice free outpost. We are setting up at outpost 54 on Microtech. Yeah, I told John we're ready whenever. And I'm still alive. Well, it looks like you're safe inside of any outpost. And the last one we're heading to is Jump Town. We are going to be testing both the inside and the airlocks here. A lot of you probably already know this one, but just to be complete, we're doing it. 500 meters, impact in three, two, one. Yep, still alive here. I gotta be real, I don't actually think I could get that any more on, on point than that. No, that, that was dead on. Yeah, you hit it that right. That was physically on top of the facility. Let's try one with me looking at the airlock. Understood. I actually had no idea if you would survive inside of the airlock. 500. Impact in 3, 2, 1. Yeah, I'm still alive inside the airlock. So it looks like even airlocks protect you from bombs. We also did some tests about pushing things in and out of armistice using the bomb's explosion. First, we're testing if you can push things with a blast radius up the bombs. Yeah, I might have put it too far away. I don't think that's going to do the blow wind effect. Yeah, I'd say that. It's it more than a plumber. Did. Okay, nice. Nah, nah, it did. It did. Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah, so, it, so basically, inside of the AoE of the bomb, it doesn't do that like push effect on the objects, but when it's just outside the AoE, it does. Good so, to know. Yeah. It clear all the debris. It put it definitely pushed a lot of it around. Next, we're testing if we can push ships out of armistice with it. The Interstellar Trade Corporation, or ITC, collectively hid in this armistice zone, which allowed us to test it. Here it goes. Hey, oh. oh, it pushed everything. Oh, good push. Now, yeah, that moved all of them. <laughs> oh, yeah, they noticed. Oh, uh, IT, ITC Enigma's taking it. away. He's picking up. He's picking up. What planet? That's my ideal microtech. Microtech? Okay. Oh, yeah, you destroyed one of the ships that got blown out. And finally, we have a preview of some dark art. Step two in experimenting with the dark arts. We've got to try and get it inside this thing. <laughs> Can you try it? take it through station barriers? Can it fit through airlocks? That's what I'm gonna try thinking. many of these experiments in a moment. She was like, uh, straight up ISIS, like, thinking there, bro. <laughs> She's like, can we get this into a crowd of people? <laughs> yeah, we're gonna test all that stuff. Can we, can we get it into, like, a true safe zone? Can we get it into, uh, you know, like, just into Orison proper? <laughs> I'm saving these other experiments for another video, including a one bomb test. So be sure to like and subscribe so that you don't miss them. Also, if you have any ideas that you'd like to see, make sure to drop them in the comments. Huge thanks to all the super friends that helped me make this video.